On one St. Louis street say they're sick of the violence in their neighborhood. This week, gunfire hit one of their homes coming within feet of a family member. Five on your side's Ryan Henson has the shocking video and is live at police headquarters where Ryan explains why one local lawmaker says it's proof that more police need to be on the streets. Ryan. Well, Mike Alderman Jeffrey Boyd and other leaders are reviewing Mayor Tashara Jones's budget, which does include cutting nearly 100 vacant positions here at the police department. Alderman Boyd says this example that I'm about to show you is an example of why more badges need to be on the street to make sure struggling St. Louis neighborhoods can not only grow, but also thrive in the future. People in the neighborhood want to feel safe. For many living on Cote Brillion in North St. Louis, they say this is the reality. Gunfire and violence at all hours of the day, a living nightmare. A woman sent Alderman Jeffrey Boyd this video taken Tuesday morning just after midnight. The woman's son ducks for cover on the back porch as her grandson is in the living room playing as she tried to sleep in bed, a bullet even went through the home. Every day on a daily basis when you hear gunfire, that should not be our normal, and that should not be our way of life, and people are tired of it. Alderman Boyd said he wants to see several changes take effect immediately. First, he wants more police patrolling neighborhoods. I'm not suggesting that you harass anybody, but when we don't pay attention to speeding, we don't tell, pay attention to the small stuff, it escalates into something big. Look what we got. Take a view of everything we got. Look what we got. We don't bother nobody, but at the same time, we need more assistance, too, to make our neighborhood better. Dwan McNutt, who lives here, spent several minutes talking All to Alderman stuff. Boyd about ways to improve the neighborhood. Both said more efforts for public safety is needed. And Alderman Boyd says the mayor's proposed budget, which would eliminate 98 vacant police positions, is not the answer. So Alderman Boyd readily admits that he doesn't agree with the mayor's method, but he knows her heart and other leaders' hearts are in the right place. They all want to see the same St. Louis that's a peaceful and prosperous one. He says he's open to communication and cooperation to make sure we all get to that point. Now, in the meantime, the budget will be up for full vote by all the Board of Aldermen coming up later this month. We'll keep you updated on that story right here on Five on Your Side. I'm Ryan Henson. Send it back to you for now. Hey, St. Louis.